We're loaded up, headed over to one of our barns this morning. We've got a group of some heifers that we bred in the spring. Actually, Eric did the breeding on these. There's 34 of them. We're gonna ultrasound them today and see what results we got. We may be looking uh, for somebody to AI for us, so we'll see how the results go and see if I keep my job. This guy may be fired today. It's every day, every day. We've got our heifers caught right here. We're right here by the barn. So we're getting some gates opened up. We're gonna start bringing them around. Each of these heifers were born on our farm. So we've raised them from day one. So we'll be running them through the squeeze chute and Hopefully every one of these are bred. There's always one in every group. Wants to be on the wrong side of the fence. She's gotta be a lover. We got the girls caught in the barn. Matthew will be here in a few minutes. He's got, it basically looks like a little small computer with a probe on the end of it. So he'll set it up, he can look at the screen. He'll stick his hand in the back of each heifer first to check her, and then he can use that probe also to double check. The probe is a lot more useful when they're short bred. If it's five to six months, he can usually tell by hand. But we're hoping a lot of these are gonna be bred five to six months. That's when we want them coming in, starting in about February. So Matthew's got the probe here in this heifer and we're looking at the screen. Legs. Still, you got legs there. You can see the heart. Is that the heart right? Hold on. Right there on the right side of the screen. Okay, yeah, you right, right the there. So there's the heartbeat. And this one's how far bred? 75 days. So this one here, it's 75 days bread. Days. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> there are two heifers in this group. We pulled them out probably a month and a half ago. We've been hand feeding them, working with them. And these two heifers, they're just too spooky, too wild. Couldn't get them to calm down, couldn't get them to come to feed. So we didn't want them turning the whole herd crazy. 
We decided today we'd go get those two heifers, bring them in, pregnancy test them just to see and decide what we're gonna do with them. You can see here, one of the heifers ended up going through the fence, broke nine wooden posts, laid down two more. So now we got some fence work to do. If we'd have had a gun, we'd all be having steaks and hamburgers tonight. We're back from ultrasounding our heifers. We uh, had pretty good results on our AI. We're scratching a little bit our head a little bit on some of our other results. I think I kept my job, but the uh, the bulls definitely fired. So just to catch you up to speed, this guy did all of our artificial insemination. We uh, ultrasounded, got good results on the artificial insemination. He was hitting 55, a little over 55 percent which is pretty dang good results. But the problem we ran into is our cleanup bull just didn't do the job. We uh, we were going through, had several of them, five to six months bred, five to six months bred, and then we'd have one pop up 60, 70, 80 days bred, which is way off what it should have been. Um, and then open. And then we had uh, heifers coming back open and we had the bull semen tested the day before we put it Put him in with the heifers he tested good if it hadn't been for the ai and we would be in trouble um but the, he's trying to you know yeah well you know i gotta make myself feel better so but anyway we'll uh we'll see what's going on we're gonna take some blood and do some samples on that blood and see uh see if he has some what kind of issues we can come up with obviously he was it's like he went dry and then started back working and then went dry again in the meantime, he will be hamburger meat, and then we will figure out what happened and go from there. Well, also hamburger meat after today. We got two heifers that ran through the fence. <laughs> They'll be hamburger meat. But we got a bull. I think we basically just had a typical 2020 result, didn't we? Yeah. But what we're looking at here, we're setting up a group of heifers to breed starting in early December. So the open heifers actually We'll be able to set them up uh, as long as everything tests well and we find out it was the bull. We'll be able to set them back up in about two weeks and start over. Obviously, we'll not be using that cleanup bull, no. but at least we're at a position where it's time to breed again so we can get these heifers bred round two. Learn from our mistakes. Don't do what we did. Uh, test early and then eat just because a bull tests good in a semen test doesn't always mean that he's going to get the job done. The bull would mount, everything looked normal with that, but uh, the, the test results didn't look normal. So, learn from our mistakes. We definitely learn a couple of things I'll do different. We'll take our bulls tomorrow. We already had it scheduled. Uh, all of our bulls that we're going to be using this fall, this other bull that we were using, we'll take him too just for testing. So, we'll update if we learn anything that we didn't know about this bull, why he may have laid down on us for a couple months we'll be sure and post an update but thanks for watching our video don't forget click that subscribe button and uh, come back and check out our video when we take our bulls to be tested